Hey, 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 my friend. Happy, happy new day. Happy new week. Happy love day if you're catching on uh, the infamous day of love that maybe we should share all year long. Just saying. All right, my friend. Happy, happy day. So this is our energy forecast for February 14th through February 20th. We're going to talk about a couple of different things here. We're going to talk about the moon, of course, where our moon is this week and where that energy is going to be because that is our emotional energy, our intuitive nature. So we're going to see where we're going to be for the week. We're also going to be talking about our Aquarius season because our sun just moved into Aquarius. So this is a new opportunity, a new time for us. And then finally, we're going to be talking about um, how to use it. <laughs> I was like, what was the last thing? How to use it. So, hey, my friend, if you are new around here, Danny C. Muniz, your spiritual designer, helping you find clarity on your spiritual journey. Uh, we absolutely love to talk about astrology around here because that is the primary tool that I use to work with my clients to help them find out what the heck is going on. So first we understand who we are by learning our soul blueprint. Next we heal ah, all those, you know, programmings that we have gotten over the years. We let go. And finally we design a life that honors us who we are. Okay. So let's talk about, let me share my screen so we can talk about the energy of this week. So first off, Again, remember, as you're seeing this chart, it doesn't, don't worry about if you don't know what it means. Don't worry about, if you're like, what is all of this going on over here, Danny? <laughs> all this is is simply something for you to not only see, because hello, I'm a visual person and I like to see things, but also for those of you who are also fellow um, people who need something to look at, but also symbols are important. And the more and more you watch these videos every week that I put out, you will start to get familiar with some of these signs. And who knows, you might even start learning astrology. Okay, so kicking off this week, our moon, she, she's hanging out over here, and she is in the sign of Cancer. Now, our moon will be in Cancer for the first part of this week. Actually, the moon moved into Cancer on Sunday. Uh, it'll be here Monday and then as well as Tuesday before we reach our full moon in Leo on Wednesday. So when the moon is in Cancer... Let me just say, you might not want to get to work. You might find yourself taking it a little bit slower. You might be distracted by wanting to just hang out with a loved one, your family, hang out in your home, some peace and quiet. Cancer is a really beautiful time. Actually, any of the water signs is a really good time for us to take care of self. This is where a lot of people talk about self-care, right? I look at it not just as a self-care weekend or a self-care Monday or a self-care Sunday, but I look at it from the perspective of when is our moon in a water sign? And particularly my moon is in cancer. So this is even more so of a time for me to do some, some self-care, to take things a little bit slower. I found myself really easing into this Monday. So if you are feeling that as well, uh, that is just simply going to be for just another day. So um, I'm also going to say here, it's really important for us to take time during the water moons to refuel, to refresh, because we want to use the fire energy that's coming up next. But in order to do that and not burn out, we need to take this downtime. So over the next couple of days, um, if you, you know, you've, you didn't, you didn't know this, right? But you're like, Danny, I didn't know, right? That's okay. Just find some time to take it easy, to do some things to refuel, or maybe take a look at your calendar and see what you can knock off, see what you can move to another time, to another day. Cause I tell you Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are going to be much better for getting things done. Okay, so if you can move things to later in this week, I would highly recommend that. Um, for my air signs and my fire signs, this water energy probably is not feeling really good for you. You're probably gonna maybe not like it too much, but I can guarantee you by the end of the week, you'll feel much better. Okay, so Wednesday is our full moon in Leo. So the really great thing is the energy is building and has been building over the past week or so as we come to our full moon and it is in Leo. So it's a very, very uh, passionate, fiery sign. And so when the moon enters Leo for this full moon, as I said, you're really going to want that energy to be able to use that to your advantage. Now I'll talk more about the full moon in another video. So if you are on my email list, you'll get first dibs on when that video is out so that you can uh, take a look and listen to how you can use this full moon energy. Now with Leo or with any fire sign, it is a really good time to get things going and to get things in motion. So come Wednesday and Thursday, and actually about half of Friday, it's going to shift around midday on Friday into Virgo. But during these those couple of days with Wednesday and Thursday, you you might find that you're wanting to be more visible. You're wanting to stand out a little bit more. You're wanting to be seen, uh, to be heard, to be understood more than normal. You're gonna wanna be in the presence of others. Your light will be wanting to shine bright. So I highly recommend doing anything that you can to nurture that energy for yourself. The flip side of that could also be that you might not be necessarily thinking of those around us and wanting to put things on people um, because we just want to be seen and heard. And so it reminds me sometimes, and I'm not saying this about Leos and, and, or anything, is it the energy reminds me of like a little kid that is like, mommy, 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 right? It wants the attention of its mom. It wants to be seen. It wants to be heard. And so it's going to keep going where sometimes, right, we can get annoyed, like, okay, yes, I see you, <laughs> right? It, it just wants to be seen. So, you know, you may be feeling this energy, although others around you, right, we're all in this energy. So be mindful of that. The other thing with Leo is Leo wants to have fun. Leo loves to have fun, to make things fun. So if there's things that you are looking to do or having to do towards the end of this week, how can you make it fun? What can you do for fun? How can you bring in fun into your day-to-day, -day, your routines, your um, work, your outings? How can you make them fun? Now, finally, we move into the second half of Friday, into Sunday or through Sunday, we will be in the earth sign of Virgo. Virgo is definitely a sign that likes to get things done. It likes systems, it likes structures, it likes organization, it likes to perfect things. So as I mentioned, later on this week, you might be more in that energy of wanting to do some work wanting to get into things, whether that is around the house, whether that is in your, your job, your work, whatever it is you do, your business, or your career. I highly don't recommend bringing work home, but how can you do that around your house? How can you put some systems in place in your house or some structures in place in your house that will make things easier for you, right? Placing, um, I have a cupboard right above our uh, coffee pot, right, where I have like my cream and my sugar and my seasonings, right, things that I like to add into my coffee. So it's all right there. Like I do is go up and, and grab it. It's, it's, it's nice. It's organized and it's just right there. It makes it really easy for me to get what I need when I'm making my coffee in the morning, right? So something like that. How can you make things easier, um, streamline things in your day-to-day, -day, in your life, in your home, now, that's going to be the energy throughout the week. The other thing I do want to say is with this full moon coming in Leo, you might find that you might have some trouble sleeping over the next couple of days as the energy 
down, especially those of us that are very sensitive to it. You might find you're like me, I woke up, uh, I was like wide awake at four something this morning and was like trying to force myself to go back to sleep. So I was just wide awake, right? So be mindful of that over the next couple of days. If you're like, I can't sleep, it could simply just be because of this energy. Now, moving into our Aquarius season. So our sun, as you can see here, this is the circle with the dot in the center. This is our sun, and it is currently in the sign of Aquarius. So our sun moved into Aquarius uh, yesterday, the uh, 13th, February 13th, and it will be here for roughly about four weeks or so in this sign. And as it transits the sign, of Aquarius. Aquarius is a very, very different sign than Capricorn, which is where we're coming from. So for those of you that are familiar with the tropical system, you probably are like, we already are in Aquarius season, Danny. Um, in tropical, yes. And um, that's because tropical is very fixed and there's fixed dates that we go by for a tropical looking at the tropical, uh, where the, the sun is in the tropical system. In sidereal, which is what I use, sidereal astrology, Western sidereal astrology, our sun just moved in to Aquarius. So if we were to look up into the sky right now, we would see that our sun is transiting through, it just entered that zodiac sign of Aquarius. So the season, our seasons are really important whenever our sun moves into a new zodiac sign because it's changing the way that we can now work with this energy. Where in Capricorn, you might have heard me say it's about cre you know organizing goals, it's about getting things together, right? Making a plan of action, looking at the future as far as what goals, right, can I create for the future and where I'm going? Like, what can my goals be for this year? How can I create a plan of action? That was definitely the energy. Um, was very disciplined and like, you know, hard. It's like, it's time to get the work to work. The holidays are over. It's time to get to work. Well, with Aquarius, um, it's a very, very different season. Aquarius is very open-minded. It is a receptive type energy, wanting to expand our world or your world. It's social, loves to interact with others. It's looking for new ideas, new ways of doing things and new ways of approaching things. Aquarius energy is very much on the forefront of change and can see the change that needs to happen. If you're an Aquarius, uh, sun, moon, or rising, I would, or have a lot of a uh, planets in Aquarius, I would say you probably are very forward thinking, right? You're probably very inventive and can come up with really good ways of changing how something is done. You can see it. And those around you are like, what the heck are you talking about, right? This is how we do it, especially Capricorn, right? This is how we do it. This is how we've always done it. Aquarius is like, there's a new way and it's way better. This is, let me show you, right? And so for some of us that can be like, no, we don't wanna do that. So there's a, that's a very, very different energy. Now, the great thing is this season, as I said, we have an opportunity to look at it for ourselves and say, how can I use this energy in my life for growth, for development, right? And so this is really looking at our inner processes, right? Anytime the, the sun changes a sign. So with this in mind, if we're looking at this from an internal type energy, right? How can I use this? So how can you be more open-minded about things? How can you expand your viewpoint on things? How can you connect with other people to help you do that, right? Are there groups and communities that you can be part of that are going to help you grow and expand your awareness. Aquarius is very much about expanding the awareness of things. So how can you do that this, this month? How can you use that in your life, in your business, in your career? So this is, um, you know, not wanting to conform energy. Aquarius does not want to conform. It wants to do things its own way. There's a lot of independence and freedom with Aquarius. So 
again, let me ask you, where can you free yourself up? Where can you step into more independence or take on independence? Maybe you have it. Maybe you've just been kind of sitting back and letting things ride. And you're like, wait, <laughs> I, I'm ready to take control. I'm ready to step into and be independent and not rely on anybody else and do my thing, do what feels right for me, right? There's definitely a time in my life where I felt like I was just sitting back watching my life go by. And then I decided to actually take control of that and step into the driver's seat and really own my life and design it in a way that honors who I am. So this is what this energy is. This is very much about working with others, but also understanding that we are separate from others. Aquarius is really great for being able to detach and be able to look at it from a very logical perspective. So where Capricorn was very practical, Aquarius is very logical. It's very analytical. So a couple of things to keep in mind with this Aquarius season is our, our mental energy with Mercury, where Mercury is our communication, it's our thinking, it's our learning. It is still in Capricorn. So there's great concentration still. There's still very practical thinking and ideas still. And so they're kind of working. We can use them at least to work together to keep that practical thinking, that great concentration, but also allow ourselves to expand, allow ourselves to uh, be in both the masculine and feminine energy to allow both to come to us because we need both, right? We can't just go with one or the other. We need the combination of both. And so this Mercury and Capricorn with this Aquarius energy in our sun is really a nice time for us to balance both of those or work with those in harmony. Now, Venus and Mars, they are hanging out together as we can see right here. They're actually what's called conjunct right now. And they'll be doing this over the next couple of months. But Venus and Mars being in Sagittarius is pushing us beyond the limits, is expanding us, is seeking adventure. So we pair that with this Aquarius energy. This is really asking us to expand, to grow, to push beyond our comfort zones, step out into new communities, into new groups. Like if you're wanting to expand your circle, you got to go out there and meet new people. Right? You got to put yourself out there. This energy is definitely calling us to do that. So for somebody who kind of shies away from that, find groups that resonate with you, find your people, right? I know, um, you know, that's kind of like Facebook's thing, right? It's like, find your people, right? These communities, these groups that we have, there's groups and communities all over the place, right? Do a little Google search. I'm sure you can find groups that are in, in your, um, like that are, that are like-minded, that have the same ideas that you do, the same interests, the same hobbies, the same flow as you do. Go out and find those groups, expand your horizon, expand your connections, your communities. This is definitely a really good time for us to do that. And if we're not, to push ourselves out of that comfort zone to do it. For those of us that already kind of expand and we're, we all, we, we've got our hands in a lot of uh, communities and groups, there may be some that you have outgrown. So I also want you to keep that in mind. Be practical about it. Um, can you spend all of your time and really show up in all these communities and these groups? Are there ones that you spend more time in than the others? Maybe it's time to cut some of them out, right? With that Mercury energy, cut some of them out and say, you know what? These really aren't serving me. Maybe I want to focus more on these particular groups because these are the groups that I tend to hang out with the most, right? What is that for you? And then finally, Jupiter is uh, still in Aquarius and it will be in Aquarius through this whole time that our sun is transiting Aquarius. And so, you know, this is really just, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. So it really is, again, as I mentioned, calling us to expand. Now, towards the end of this month, and I'll talk about more, I'll talk about this more as we get there, but kind of a heads up here is as the sun gets closer to Jupiter, this is a personal 
expansion. This is a personal growth. There's a really good growth opportunity for us as we get closer and closer and closer to Jupiter. So keep this in mind, right? You've heard me say a couple of words over and over again, and I hope that they're ringing loud because this really is a beautiful time for us to get out, to explore, to broaden our horizons and connect with people. So my last thing I want to say here is don't forget that we do still have that Mercury and Pluto conjunction that's right here. And this is going to be over the next couple of days still. So till about the 16th, so till about that full moon. And this is really bringing that de depth and intensity to our thinking where we can really get to the bottom of things that have been troubling us. So if there has been anything that you've been kind of lingering around with, this is a really good time over the next couple of days, you know, to schedule a session with somebody and do some work. It's a really good time for some, some deep mental work. The other thing is uh, right now we've got Venus and Mars, as I had mentioned before, hanging out. Uh, so again, this is a, a beautiful day of love and how we can share, right, that love with everybody, how we can share that love with other people, how we can bring love to the table. So I want to invite you to bring that throughout your day today, throughout your week and beyond. All right, my friend, that is it for us today. Remember to, um, you know, expand, grow, use this opportunity to get out of your comfort zone. And as always, remember, close your eyes and take a deep breath. And find 